A very strange thing happened in May of 1974 when a Florida man named Terry Betts found on his island property this curious metal sphere, now known as the Betts Sphere. Scientists have officially reopened the books on the Betts Sphere, and what they've uncovered is nothing short of astounding. This infamous metallic orb, once dismissed by some, is now being re-examined in light of a startling new discovery, the Buga Sphere. Found in Colombia, this newly fallen object mirrors the Betts artifact in ways that cannot be mere coincidence. Both spheres possess properties that challenge conventional physics, from their impossible construction to their uncanny ability to seemingly interact with their surroundings. Harry just puts it in a windowsill for a couple of weeks. Then one day, he has a friend over, and as he's playing the guitar, the sphere suddenly starts to come alive. It starts making humming sounds and it seems to be responding to particular notes played by the guitar. The most shocking fact is that advanced scanning technologies are now revealing internal mechanisms that suggest intelligence, not accident. We are talking about two objects, separated by time and distance, yet seemingly connected by a singular, unexplainable purpose. The day the orb fell. The family brought it home, intrigued by its flawless surface and the absence of any visible seams or markings that would suggest human manufacture. The real strangeness began days later. Their son Terry was playing his guitar and the sphere, resting on a table, began to hum and vibrate in response to the music. The family's poodle, usually calm, would reportedly whine and cover its ears when near the object, acting as if it were hearing a high-frequency sound imperceptible to humans. To put it mildly, this was no ordinary piece of scrap metal. What many overlooked is that these early observations were just the beginning of truly baffling phenomena. One day, the sphere reportedly rolled off its own accord across a glass coffee table, stopping just short of the edge as if possessing a strange intelligence. This wasn't a slight tremor or a nudge, it was an intentional movement defying the laws of gravity and inertia that should have sent it crashing to the floor. The family conducted experiments, rolling it across the floor. Instead of continuing in a straight line, it would change direction, curving back towards the person who had rolled it, almost like a metallic boomerang. This boomerang effect was so pronounced that even a photographer from the Jacksonville Journal witnessed and confirmed it. The sphere also seemed to be more active in direct sunlight, almost as if it were solar powered. The U.S. Navy eventually took an interest, especially since Fort George Island was close to a naval base. Initially, their verdict was underwhelming. It was probably a large ball bearing, but further examination, including x-rays and metallurgical analysis, revealed more complex details. The sphere was hollow with a shell about half an inch thick made of a high-grade stainless steel alloy known as Magnetic 431 a type of steel prized for its corrosion resistance and strength. Intriguingly, it wasn't magnetic itself, but it appeared to have its own strong, complex magnetic field. One researcher, James Albert Harder, reportedly found its magnetic field to be over 1,000 times stronger than any known natural substance. Dr. Carl Williston, another investigator, also reported a low level of radioactivity, though not dangerously high. The internal structure was even more perplexing. X-rays revealed three smaller spherical shapes inside, shielded by a material that prevented a clear image, as if they were intentionally protected. The question of how such a perfectly symmetrical hollow sphere, with its unique metallic composition and strange internal components, could be manufactured without any visible welds or joints became a central puzzle. This flawless construction, coupled with its observed behaviors, pushed the boundaries of conventional understanding. Many people are crazy about finding explanations for such perfect objects. The sphere even emitted a low-frequency sound, described by some as a thrumming or a faint engine-like noise, as if an internal mechanism was at work. The Betts family also claimed that doors would slam shut and a strange organ-like music would play in their home even when no organ was present phenomena they attributed to the sphere's presence. While these more anecdotal accounts are harder to verify, they added to the growing mystique. The thing nobody tells you is how deeply such an object can affect the daily lives of those around it. Scientists struggled to offer concrete explanations. Was it a highly sophisticated piece of experimental military technology? 
perhaps a spy device that somehow lost its way, or was it something far more profound? Even famed ufologist Dr. J. Allen Hynek commented on the case, expressing intrigue but remaining cautious, noting that the object's properties didn't align with typical UFO-related artifacts. Despite the initial skepticism, the fascination with the Bet sphere never truly faded. Its extraordinary properties continued to challenge scientific norms. The ultimate fate of the Bet sphere itself became another layer of the mystery. After changing hands between various researchers, its current location is unknown, making further scientific study impossible. This disappearance only amplified the whispers and theories, cementing its place as an unsolved enigma. And yet, almost 50 years later, another object would emerge, reigniting the hope that answers might finally be found. Could this new discovery hold the key to understanding the Bet Sphere's true nature? The Columbian Anomaly Decades after the Bet Sphere vanished from public view, a new, equally baffling object made headlines thousands of miles away in Buga, Colombia. In March of 2025, witnesses reported a metallic sphere hovering erratically in the skies, moving in peculiar zigzag patterns unlike any known aircraft before it descended and landed near a forest. This was the Buga Sphere, and its arrival immediately sparked global speculation. You see, the initial reports were strikingly similar to the Betts incident, a perfectly formed metallic orb with no visible welds or joints, almost as if it had been grown rather than manufactured. The Buga sphere, reportedly weighing around four and a half pounds and feeling unnaturally cold to the touch, was quickly recovered by a team of local scientists and engineers. Its physical characteristics were immediately perplexing. Radiologist Dr. Jose Luis Velasquez, part of the investigative team, noted its seamless three-layered structure. The outer layer was described as a titanium-vanadium alloy, a material known for its high strength-to-weight ratio, while the inner layers contained a crystalline matrix that seemed to house its complex electronics. Inside, X-ray and microscopic scans revealed a far more intricate design than initially imagined. This wasn't a solid hunk of metal. Instead, scientists discovered a central nucleus, or chip, surrounded by a network of 18 microspheres and complex fiber-optic-like wiring within its three distinct metallic layers. This internal complexity suggested an engineered device, but one crafted with technology far beyond current human capabilities. To put it mildly, it was a marvel. One of the most compelling aspects of the bugosphere was the mysterious symbols carved into its outer shell. These markings resembled ancient scripts, runes, Ogham, and even Mesopotamian writing. Using advanced artificial intelligence tools, researchers claim to have decoded a message embedded within these glyphs. The origin of birth through union and energy in the cycle of transformation, meeting point of unity, expansion and consciousness, individual consciousness. While the validity of AI decoded ancient scripts is always a subject of intense debate, the message, if true, suggested a profound and perhaps urgent communication directed at humanity. This adds a powerful layer of intrigue that many people are crazy about exploring. The sphere's environmental impact was also deeply unsettling. The spot where it landed experienced complete grass and soil die off in a perfect circle about six feet in diameter with no signs of regrowth months later. Scientists could not detect any radiation, but they theorized an invisible energy might have extracted all moisture from the area. Engineer Rodolfo Garrido from the research team suggested a strong, decaying, ionized field could be responsible essentially sterilizing the soil at a molecular level. This localized ecological disruption points to energy manipulations that are not only unknown, but potentially hazardous. The most shocking fact is how utterly barren the landing site remains, a stark reminder of the object's anomalous power. Even its weight seemed to be dynamic. Reports indicated the sphere's weight changed over time from 16 to 20 and then to 22 pounds, baffling researchers. This led to speculation about futuristic gravitational forces or a negative mass effect that would allow the object to reduce its inertia by up to 81% during flight. Such a technology would revolutionize space travel and energy production, changing everything we understand about physics. And you can see this everywhere in the ongoing discussions, from scientific journals to online forums, everyone is grappling with these impossible characteristics. 
The Bugosphere challenges the very foundations of scientific understanding. It forces us to ask, are these isolated anomalies, or are we witnessing a pattern orchestrated by something beyond our grasp? But how could two such similar objects appear so far apart and decades later? Decades apart. The similarities between the Bet Sphere and the Buga Sphere are too striking to dismiss as mere coincidence. Both objects are perfectly spherical, metallic, and approximately 8 inches in diameter. The Bet Sphere weighed 22 pounds, while the Buga Sphere's weight reportedly fluctuated, eventually reaching 22 pounds as well. This near-identical size and mass immediately raise eyebrows. It's almost as if they were forged from the same blueprint. The thing nobody tells you is that this level of precise replication across decades without a clear human source is exceptionally rare. It's not just two similar objects, it's a pattern demanding investigation. Beyond their physical dimensions, both spheres displayed baffling behaviors. The Bet Sphere rolled on its own, seemingly responding to external stimuli and defying gravity. The Buga Sphere was observed hovering and moving in erratic zigzag patterns before its landing, and its internal analysis suggests a negative mass effect for propulsion. This shared characteristic of autonomous movement and apparent control over gravity or inertia is a critical parallel. It suggests a common underlying technology, one that manipulates fundamental forces of the universe in ways we are only beginning to theorize. And you can see this everywhere in history if you look hard enough. Ancient texts from India known as the Vedas describe flying machines called Vimanas that moved in similar impossible ways. Consider the construction. The Bet Sphere was described as seamless, made of a high-grade stainless steel without visible welds. The Bugosphere likewise boasts a seamless three-layered structure with researchers describing it as artificial in origin. This flawless monolithic construction points towards an advanced fabrication method unknown to us, perhaps some form of additive manufacturing at an atomic level. What many overlooked is that achieving such perfection in a hollow metallic object without visible joins is an immense engineering challenge, even with today's advanced tools. The internal complexity further deepens the mystery. While early analyses of the Bet Sphere hinted at shielded spheres inside, the Buga Sphere scans revealed an intricate network of 18 microspheres and fiber optic like wiring surrounding a central chip. This suggests a highly sophisticated internal system. The connection here isn't just about presence of internal components, but the nature of those components, evidence of complex non human engineering. The most shocking fact is that other, lesser-known mystery spheres have been reported throughout the 20th century, from the Kira spheres in Japan to the Williams Enigma sphere in the U.S., all sharing some of these core characteristics, hinting at a much wider global phenomenon. Even the energetic impacts show parallels. The Bet sphere was reported to have a powerful magnetic field and low radioactivity. The Buga Sphere caused soil die-off at its landing site due to an ionized field and reportedly emitted a steady 100-watt cooling effect. These energetic signatures, though manifesting differently, both indicate a capacity to interact powerfully with their environment. Some skeptics argue that the Bet Sphere was merely an industrial ball valve and the Buga Sphere an elaborate hoax. While caution is always prudent, the accumulation of anomalous physical properties and behaviors for both objects, especially their structural integrity and reported internal complexities, make such simple explanations increasingly difficult to maintain. The weight fluctuation, the specific symbols, the internal microspheres. These details push beyond the realm of simple human craft. Many people are crazy about finding logical explanations, but sometimes the logic needs to expand. The parallels between these two spheres, separated by a continent and half a century, demand a unified explanation suggesting a common origin, a shared purpose, or a deliberate long-term communication attempt. Could these spheres be part of a larger unfolding narrative? The Science of the Unseen if these spheres are not human-made, then their existence points to technologies and scientific understanding far beyond our current grasp. We are talking about materials and physics that could revolutionize everything. Consider the negative mass effect theorized for the Buga Sphere. 
allowing it to reduce its inertia by 81%. To put it mildly, imagine trying to push a bowling ball that suddenly feels as light as a balloon. That's the kind of physics we're talking about. This isn't just about efficient flight, it's about fundamentally altering how an object interacts with gravity. The thing nobody tells you is that this kind of physics pushes beyond Einstein's theories, suggesting a deeper understanding of space-time itself. The seamless construction of both spheres implies an atomic-level manufacturing process. Modern three-dimensional printing is impressive, but it still works within the constraints of material fusion. Imagine a technology that could assemble matter atom by atom or even grow complex metallic structures from raw elements. This could involve manipulating quantum states or harnessing forces we can barely detect. This would explain the BET sphere's high-grade stainless steel without a clear manufacturing footprint and the Buga sphere's multi-layered, intricate internal architecture. And you can see this everywhere in the dreams of advanced engineering. This is the ultimate goal of nanotechnology. The fiber optic-like wiring and internal chip within the Buga sphere point to sophisticated data processing and communication capabilities. This isn't just a passive object, it appears to be an active, potentially sentient device. The mysteries of the BETS and Buga spheres persist, challenging all we know. Are these objects proof of advanced life or secrets from our own hidden past? Like and subscribe to join the journey and tell us what do you believe they are?